Mr. X, no rabbit as far as Calypso in Grenada is concerned. You're a man who have paid your dues and is no stranger to the big yard come Dimash Grand Night. On the alcohol, which we just saw you performing on Culture Share, let us elaborate a little more on that. Well, on the alcohol has basically to do with the Grenadian society. If you were to move around our community on a typical weekend, you would find the guys just sitting at the rum shop, knocking at two, playing the cards, the drafts and so on. What I tend to do in, um, on the alcohol is to take that and put it in a format so that I could expose three basic problems in, in the Grenadian society. One is where we tend to pass on the blame to the next person. So you'll find that in that song I'll say, the farmers say blame the police, the police say blame the young people. That's a problem in the Grenadian society. Secondly, the, question, the whole question of drug abuse. We tend to think of drug abuse in the Grenadian context as marijuana and cocaine and so on. And I see alcohol consumption as a serious drug abuse problem in Grenada. I try to, um, to highlight that. And at the same time, I, I try to look at those forces operating in our society that tend to push our people to the point where they feel like they need the alcohol to get out. Like the, the crooked politicians, the, the low price for our um, agricultural produce, the, 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 the lack of opportunity for our graduates and so on. I tend to put all this in, in one compacting, use alcohol as a vehicle to transport them to the people. I was talking uh, to Reggie Charles and uh, him being a teacher, you're also a teacher. And it just dawned on me that the Grenadian Calypso Arena is filled with a lot of teachers. So, um, are you still teaching right now? Yes, I'm still with the Grenada National College. All right, good. You didn't resign as yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> it, it wasn't my intention to resign, you know. Basically, what I tried to do with a resign was to more or less expose the, the ills of the, the profession, you know. Right. But you being a teacher, is there a need to incorporate? Well, we know the syllabus is wrong right now. I'll put it straight to you. The syllabus we use to educate our children is wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's a need for more Calypso to be used in the schools in Grenada so that students can understand our history through Calypso? For instance, um, My Carnival Queen, which is an old-time Kaiso of yours, mm -hmm. could be a, a reference as to look at poetry in Calypso. Okay, I, I would definitely support the use of Calypso in the schools and I would see it as from two basic standpoints. One is as a, as a means of cognitive learning, you know, and, um, and, and secondly, to view, to, to view Calypso as creative writing. I, I, I see Calypso as creative writing. I think we are just as good as, as Shakespeare and Chaucer and the guys in them. Calypso to me is creative writing. And um, all the, 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 the techniques that one would use, let's say in good um, essay composition and um, poetry and so on, you would need that in Calypso. And for that reason, I think it's a, it's a, it's a good medium through which um, students can um, improve on their writing skill. You know, and, and for the cognitive learning, I think that if we are really trying to instill certain concepts into our students, I think Calypso is a very good vehicle to do it. Does Mr. X wake up in the morning and decide, well, let me see, today I go compose a Calypso, or do you maybe walk, be walking down the road or sitting in your bathroom and an idea just hit you and you decide, aha, uh -huh, that's a good idea, let me work on it? That, 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 that do happen to me, but I, I'm a little more deliberate than that. I look on, what I, basically what I do, I look on the society and I look for topics that would be fitting. And then I take that topic and I sit down and I make it something. So you don't hit my guess. The topics that I sing don't, does not strike me in the bathroom or strike me on the street. You know, I look around and I say, okay, you no. Know, the, the, the question of jobs in, in society is a, is a serious, is a serious um, question. So I will sit down deliberately, set up deliberately to, to, to coin a, a song that would reflect that. So I'm a little more deliberate on that. Do the Grenadian Calypsonians um, need to follow the same vein as the Trinidadians? And in order to make money, had to sing, jump up and wave, get something and wave, put your flag or raise your rag in the air. Do the Grenadian Calypsonians need to do that? Well, I, I'm for, for, for one as a Calypsonian. I don't think there's a particular way that a Calypsonian should be. I think it's a matter of, of taste and, um, and, and style and um, one, one's objective. Um, if, if the Calypsonian objective is to make money and to make people dance, wine, whatever, by all means, let them do it. If, if, if you are interested in put, bringing out humor in Calypso, by all means, go ahead. But if you're interested in a in political commentary, go right ahead. I don't think there's a particular way a Calypso ought to be. I don't think we need to be as the Trinis, I don't think we need to be as the Vincentians or the, the Bajans. I think to each his own. You know, and if, if you feel more comfortable performing smooth, right ahead. Creative writing, as I say. 
Mr. X, let me say thank you much for talking to us on Culture Share. It's been a pleasure. Uh, it was a pleasure for me too.